Namaste friends, welcome back to my channel. Friends, in our last video, we have made Artharini pendant in pink color. And today we are going to complete Artharini necklace by making this neck pendant for this pink pendant. This necklace is about 14 inches in size and it fits the neck perfectly and here we would be making this neck pendant in pink color for this pendant. So let us see what all material do we need to make this neck, neck pendant. For making our neck pendant for pink pendant we would be using these roundels in opal pink color. Here I am using 2 by 3 mm roundels and I am using these pearls. These are in 3 mm size and these are in powder rose color. Then I will be using these 11 o seed beads. These are Muki Duracoat Silver Line Fuchsia 11 o's. Here I will be using these 11 o's. These are Muki Duracoat Galvanized Champagne 11 o's. I am using this box clasp with three holes to take up three layers of our necklace and I will be working with Muki thread and size 12 beading needle. So let's get started. For making our neck bend, I have taken about 60 inches of double thread on my needle. Uh, this I will be uh, taking the thread in parts here I have taken 60 inches and I will make a part of the band and then again I will take the thread because it won't be possible to take the whole length of thread at the same time it will get tangled up so here I am taking only uh, 60 inches first for attaching the neck band we need to attach some seed beads here on both the sides and for this we will start from here this is the bottom center of our pendant as you can see this is the bottom center and here I'll be passing through this 3 mm pearl at the bottom very carefully passing through this pearl into the 11 o champagne now tie a knot in between this pearl and the 11 o this now I will pass through this second pearl into the second 11 of champagne Very carefully we have to pass through all these beads and into the third pearl like this and now into the third 11 o champagne. Like this here we started from this bottom pearl then next and then next and here after passing through three pearls 
and three eleven o's here right now i'm exiting through this eleven o and now i will pick up one eleven o fuchsia silver line and pass through this next eleven o champagne like this pick up second eleven o fuchsia and pass through the next eleven o champagne like this pick up third eleven o fuchsia and pass through the next eleven o champagne now fourth eleven o fuchsia and pass through the next eleven o champagne now after adding these four eleven o fuchsia right now i'm exiting through this eleven o champagne and i will pass through this next 3 mm pearl on the top like this next 11 o champagne so here we have passed through this first pair and into the second 3 mm pearl into the 11 o champagne third 3 mm pearl and into the 11 o champagne now we have reached the other side of the pendant this here you can see that we added these four 11 o's here and this was the bottom center and this is the top center and here we have left one 11 uh, one 3 mm pearl and here again one 3 mm pearl so leaving these three 3 mm pearls on the top and now i'm exiting through this 11 o champagne and now again i'm going to pick up one 11 o fuchsia and pass through this next 11 o champagne again my second 11 o fuchsia and pass through the next 11 o champagne third 11 o fuchsia and pass through the next 11 o champagne and now fourth 11 o fuchsia and into the next 11 o champagne like this so here we have added four 11 o's on both both the sides now this this was the bottom center 
and here at the bottom we have left one two three four and five pearls in all and at the top we have one two three pearls on the top now after adding these 11 o's on this side and four 11 o's on the other side right now i am exiting through this 11 o champagne now after adding these four 11 o's on the other side we will pass through this 3 mm pearl on the bottom and here we can cut this tail off into the 11 o We are going to pass through all the five pearls that we left at the bottom. So this was the first, now second. Second pearl into the 11 o third pearl into the 11 o Fourth pearl into the eleven o Now into the fifth pearl, now into the eleven of champagne. And step up into the first 11 o that we added. Now, after stepping up into this first 11 o fuchsia, I will pick up three 11 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o fuchsia like this. Again, pick up three 11 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o fuchsia like this. Again, pick up three 11 o champagne and pass through the next 11 o fuchsia like this. We have added three sets of 11 o champagne and now I will pick up four. 11 o champagne 1 3 mm pearl and 2 11 o champagne so here i have picked up 4 11 o champagne 1 3 mm pearl and 2 11 o champagne bring them down towards the end here and now after bringing them down i will pass through the first two 11 o champagne near this 11 o fuchsia so here i'm going down through 
द फर्स्ट टू इलेवन ओ शैम्पेन नियर इलेवन ओ फ्यूशिया लाइक दिस एंड जस्ट क्रिएटिंग अ वाई दिस वे नाउ आई विल पास थ्रू दिस इलेवन ओ फ्यूशिया एंड up into the first two elevenos of this set the first two eleveno champagne of this set i would be exiting through the middle eleveno champagne like this Now, after exiting through this middle eleven o champagne, I will pick up two eleven o champagne, one three mm per. After picking up these three beads, I'll be passing through this eleven o champagne, next to just before this, three mm per, going down through this eleven o champagne, and this way, we added another y. and pick up 111 o champagne and pass through this middle 11 o champagne it's a sort of netting that we are doing to add our 3 mm pearls here for making our neck bend now after passing through this center 11 o champagne i will step up into the first two 11 os 11 o champagne like this now after exiting through this 11 o champagne i'm going to pick up one 3 mm pearl and two 11 o champagne one 3 mm pearl and two 11 o champagne and now i will pass through this middle 11o of the next set down here and here we are adding a third 3 mm pearl and now i will pick up one 11o champagne and go up through this 11o on the top in between the pearls like this so here we have added our third pearl stepping up into the pearl going down through the next 11 o champagne pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through the middle 11 o champagne of the first set of 3 11os that we added down here like this now pick up two 11o champagne and one 3mm pearl and go down through this 11o champagne next to 3mm pearl like this so here we have added our fourth pearl down through this 11o and into this 11o like this so we added four pearls step up into the first two 11os like this and now i'm going to pick up one 3 mm pearl and four 11 o champagne and i will pass through this bottom 11 o fuchsia like this
now we will move up through these 11 o's these two and the above two here we are passing through these four 11 o champagne very gently we have to pull our thread here like this into the 3 mm pearl down through these two 11 o's and now coming down through this these two 11 o's and now we will be passing through the last two 11 o's out of the four we added with the last pull here going down through these keep it tight here and into the 11 of fuchsia like this we have to keep our thread nice and tight here and here this way we have added our five pearls and now we will move up to our pearls through these 11 o's You may find it a bit difficult as we are taking four threads here as we are using double thread if you find it difficult you can use single thread also up through these two 11 o's like this Now, after exiting through this 11 o champagne, we will step up into the pearl like this, down through these two 11 o's. And move up through these two 11 o's this way we are going to move up through these two 11 o's and into our 3 mm pearl like this and now we are going to add raw component to our pearls for this i'm going to pick up three 3 mm pearls as i already have four so i'm going to pick up only three 3 mm pearls and pass through this 3 mm pearl through which I am exiting right now like this moving up through this 3 mm pearl now here I have one two pearls and I'll be picking up only two more like this and pass through the Pearl. 
move up to this one and this is our next straw component into this 3mm pearl and into our next 3mm pearl again I will pick up two 3mm pearls and pass through these two 3mm pearls like this moving up through this 3mm pearl pick up two 3mm pearls into this one Through this pearl into these down through this and into the next 3mm pearl and now again I'm going to pick up two 3mm pearls and into the two pearls like this so here I have completed one row of my raw component and I will step up like this into this one. Now after stepping up into this 3mm pearl I will pick up three you can see from the back I stepped up into this top pearl of the last component that I added and now I'll be picking up three 3 mm pearls and pass through the same pearl like this stepping up into this 3 mm pearl pick up two 3 mm pearls into this one And up through this one. so this is my second row component of second row and now I will step up into this 3mm pearl down through this 3mm pearl into this one and now for the third draw component again I'm going to pick up two 3mm pearls and pass through these two 3mm pearls like this and this way I'll be completing my row of five raw components as I did in the previous one we had one two three four and five raw components here in this row I have completed one two three raw components I'll be adding two more and come back now here I have completed my second row of raw component and I'm stepping up into this 11 this 3mm pearl and into the next 3mm pearl on the top of this last component that I added now I'll be adding one more component but here I'll be adding rondelles so uh, I'll be adding rondelles with the pearls so here at the bottom I have this 3mm pearl now I will pick up one 3mm pearl one 2 by 3mm rondel and one 3mm pearl so here I have picked up these three beads one 3 mm pearl one rondel and one 3 mm pearl and i will pass through this 3 mm pearl and this way you can see that i have got this rondel on the top so next rows will be done with the rondels i have got the base 
for my rondelles now I will step up into this 3 mm pearl now I'll be picking up one rondel and one 3 mm pearl one 2 by 3 mm rondel and one 3 mm pearl and pass through this next 3 mm pearl up through this 3 mm pearl into the round tail down through this 3 mm pearl and the next 3 mm pearl now we would be going anti-clockwise so we are going to add 3 mm pearl and the round tail pick up one 3 mm pearl and the round tail and pass through the two 3 mm pearls now moving up through this 3 mm pearl we have to be very careful while adding this row as we need these rondelles to be on the extreme left or right if you are working with your right hand as we are going to make it as a base for our round tails so here I'm going clockwise so I'll pick up round tail first and the pearl into this 3 mm pearl up through the pearl into the round tail and into the pearl and into the next pearl like this now we are going anti-clockwise so I'm picking up pearl first 3 mm pearl and the 2 by 3 mm round tail and pass through these two pearls So this is the band that we are creating and now we are stepping up into our rondelle and now we would be picking up only rondelles. So here I already have one, I'll be picking up three rondelles like this and pass through this one like this up through the round tail pick up two round tails and pass through this one at the bottom up through this round tail into these two and into the next round tail so we are going to add this row of rondelles and come back. So here we have completed our row of 5 raw components with rondelles 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 raw components and I will step up into the top rondelle for adding my second row. And here we have added our first row of 5 raw components and we are going to add 15 such rows of these raw components. So we have added first, we are going to add 14 more rows and come back. Now here you can see that I have finished up my thread before completing and now as I am exiting through this lead, I will pass through this one. And just make a knot here like this and I will pass through this round tail into this round tail into this round tail 
and now after passing through two or three more rondelles after tying a knot I can cut my thread off and now I'll be adding another thread to my needle now here I have added thread a new thread to my needle and I have taken the same length 60 inches double thread and now I'm going to add it to my neck bend and for this I'm passing through this round tail tie a double knot in between here like this into this round tail down through this round tail Now we can cut this tail off. Into this round tail. Once again we will tie a knot. through the round tail into this into this and into our first round tail like this now we are going to add more of our rows with round tails i have already added one two three four five six seven eight we had to add 15 rows so here i have added eight i will add seven more and come back now here we have added 15 rows of raw components with rondelles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. And now the next row would be with rondelles and pearls. We are going to make a base for adding the pearl raw components. So for this we are going to pick up one round tail, one 3mm pearl and one round tail and pass through this round tail. 
here we are going to create the base for the pearls just as we did for the rondelles here in the beginning and now stepping up into the rondel into the pearl and into this rondel and into the next rondel I will pick up one round tail and one three mm pearl and pass through this round tail and into the bottom one like this moving up now I will be moving clockwise so I will pick up the pearl first and the rondel and pass through this bottom rondel up into the rondel into the pearl down to the round tail now I'll be moving anti-clockwise so after passing through this round tail I will pick up one round tail and one 3 mm pearl and pass through all these beads like this move up and now clockwise so I will pick up one 3 mm pearl and the rondel and into this rondel at the bottom up through the rondel into the pearl now we are going to add a row of raw components with the pearls so for this I am picking up three three mm pearls and pass through this pearl like this into the pearl And into this pearl and the next so this way we are going to add this row with pearls raw component now here I have completed my row with pearls raw component and now now I have added this first row of our pearl raw component and now I'll be adding my second row of pearl raw component so for this again I'm picking up three three mm pearls and pass through this pearl so this is our second row of pearls raw component and move up into this 3 mm pearl and this way I'll be completing this row of raw component with pearls now here I have completed two rows of pearls and now stepping up into this pearl we would be adding the rows of raw component with rondelles once again so for this I'm going to pick up three rondelles and pass through this 3 mm pearl stepping up into the rondelles
span into the next 3 mm purl. So this way I am going to add this row of rondel. Now here you can see that we added in all 16 rows of rondels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. Sixteenth was the one where we added these pearls as the base for these pearl raw component. Now, after adding our pearl raw component, we have added the first row of the rondels for creating the base for our rondels raw component. So here we have made the first row. Now, again we are going to add sixteen in all sixteen rows of raw component with rondels so here we have added our first row now we would be adding 15 more rows of raw components with rondels so for this i will pick up three rondels and pass through this row, this rondel and so this is my first row component of the second row with rondel. So here I have completed this first row component of the second row of rondels and now I will be making four more for this row and come back. So here I have completed the second row of raw components with rondels and as I already told you that we are going to make 16 such rows. So here we have completed two rows. I will be completing 14 more rows and come back. Now here I have completed my 16 rows of raw component. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 and now I will be adding the clasp to this end. For this we are going to pick up 5, 11 or champagne and pass through this round tail like this move up through these round 11 o's into these two down through this 11 o into the rondel now I will pick up 4 11 o champagne and pass through this 11 o in between the rondel so here again I have added 5 moving through this round tail up through the 11 oh again pick up 4 11 oh champagne and pass through the round tail like this up through this 11 oh in between the round tails and step up into all the 11 o's that we added just now down through these three 11 o's into the round tail pick up four 11 o champagne down this 11 o champagne into the round tail up 
to the 11 ohm pick up four 11 ohm champagne and into the round tube step up into the 11 ohm like this now step up into these two 11 o's now for adding our box clasp to the neck band we would need 15 o seed beads and I just forgot to mention it in the beginning of the video but here we are going to use 15 o's so here this is our box clasp and I am taking one part of this and here I am going to attach it to my neck band but for this you can see that I am exiting through this side of 11 ohm and now I am going to pick up 4 15 ohm champagne and pass through the first hole just opposite to this one of the clasp you can also use jump rings here if you want but here I'm using the 15 o's like this flip it up and now again I'm going to pick up four 15 o's champagne and pass through the opposite side of my 11 o champagne like this so this is it and we have to check it that we are taking it to the right side this is the front side and this is the front side of our pendant and here it is and now after exiting through this 11 o We will pick up two 15 ohm champagne and pass through the next 11 ohm like this. Now again we will pick up four 15 ohm champagne and pass through the second hole like this. And again we are going to flip it up now after flipping it up you are again going to pick up 4 15 or champagne and pass through the same 11 o from the opposite direction like this this way now again pick up 215 or champagne and pass through the next 11 ohm again flip it up pick up 4 15 or champagne and pass through the third hole of the clasp again flip it pick up four fifteen or champagne and pass through the eleven oh from the opposite direction like this Now again pick up 215 or champagne and pass through the middle 11 o the next one like this. Now 
down through these two eleven o's. into the round tail up into the eleven o into these two eleven o's into the 15 o's and the 11 o's we are not passing through the 15 o's as we are we have already taken double thread so we don't need to pass through them twice and now after exiting through this 11 o again I'm going to pick up two 15 o champagne and pass through the next 11 o. Like this. So here we have attached our clasp. Going down. So this way we have attached our clasp to the neck bend. And now we will pass through this round tail and into this one. And now we are going to tie a knot as we have completed this net, uh, this side of neck bend. The basic I, we have completed and we would be doing the embellishment over this with the single thread. So here as we are using the double thread we are going to and the thread and cut it off. We are going to make the band first on both the sides so here I am tying a double knot like this again into the round tail into two or more round tails like this and now we can cut the thread off from the neck bend so this is one side of our neck bend we would be making the neck bend on the other side in the same way now for adding the neck bend on the other side we would be doing the same thing as we did on this side I'll just show you the beginning and the rest we can do the same way as we did on this side now for this you can see this 11 of fuchsia that we added on the other side here I just started from this 11 now I'll be passing through the one 
before it like this and I'm going to tie a knot on the thread between this 11 o champagne and the next 3 mm pearl like this now into the pearl into this next 11 o and up into the next 11 o fuchsia and now we are going to add this net as we did on this side so here again We are going to pick up three 11 o champagne. We are making this net here. So we are picking up three 11 o champagne and pass through the next 11 o fuchsia like this. Again, pick up three 11 o champagne. And pass through the next 11 o fuchsia can pick up 3 11 o champagne and pass through the next 11 o fuchsia like this now after exiting through this 11 o fuchsia Fuchsia. I'm going to pick up four eleven o champagne, one three mm pearl, and two eleven o champagne, as we did on the other side, like this four eleven o champagne, one three mm pearl, two eleven o champagne, bring them down. like this and now I will pass through the first two 11 o's here on this side at the bottom like this in this way creating a Y and attaching our pearl to it like this and now I will pass through this 11 o fuchsia into the two 11 o champagne exiting through the middle one And now I will pick up two 11 o champagne, one 3 mm pearl, like this, two 11 o champagne and one 3 mm pearl, and go down through this 11 o champagne on the first set, like this. Now pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through this middle 11 o like this. So here we have created our second pearl step up into these first two 11 o champagne on this net and now pick up 
one three mm per and two eleven o champagne and here I'll be passing through the middle eleven o at the bottom like this pick up one eleven o champagne and pass through this top eleven o in between the round pearls. like this so here we have added the third pearl now stepping up into the pearl here we have to keep a thread nice and tight and moving down through this first 11 or champagne pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through this 11 o champagne the middle one of the next set at the bottom like this pick up two 11 o champagne and one 3 mm pearl and here we will pass through this 11 o champagne and this one these three 11 o champagne like this like this and now move up into the two 11 o's here now we have added four and we are going to add our fifth pearl for this I am going to pick up one 3 mm pearl and four 11 o champagne and go down into this 11 o fuchsia at the bottom that we added in the beginning. It's better to take smaller threads on the needle because as we take so many passes the thread gets wear up and it becomes difficult to work with it in the later phase so it's better to take a smaller thread now after exiting through this 11 o I will pass through this 11 o these four 11 o champagne together we can pull our needle with the help of the plier as we are taking so many passes with double thread into the pearl down through these two 11 o champagne and now into these two last two 11 o champagne Here again we have to keep our thread nice and tight and the here we have attached our five pearls and now pass through this 11 o fuchsia at the bottom
again we are move up, moving up through the four eleven o's like this like this we are going to move up through the these four eleven o's and then into the pearl like this down through these two eleven o's up into these two eleven o's and into the pearl so now after attaching these pearls we are going to add the extension or our neck pin as we have done here again we are going to add three rows of these pearls and then 16 with these round tails then two with the pearls and again 16 with the round tails and then we would be adding the clasp so i will complete making this neck pin till here till adding rondelles and come back so friends here i have completed my neck bend as i have done here i added three rows of these pearls raw component and again i added three on the other side then as i did here 16 rows of raw component with rondelles here also i have completed 16 rows of raw components with rondel let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and then i have added two rows of raw component with pearls and then again 16 rows of raw component with rondels 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 so here i have completed the neck bend on the other side and now we are going to add the clasp to this end now for adding the clasp here again we are going to add 11 o's first so for this i am picking up 5 11 o champagne and as i am exiting through this rondel i will pass through the first rondel like this move up through this first 11 o that i just added like this now i will pick up four 11 o champagne and pass through the second rondel like this move up to this 11 o step up into the 11 o's that i just added in the second set and after exiting through this 11 o i will pass through the next round deal now again i will pick up four 11 o champagne and pass through this 11 o like this into the round tail step up into the first 11 o again pick up four 11 o champagne and pass through the round tail up through the 11 o into these 11 o's 
down to these 11 nodes into the round tail now again pick up 4 11 or champagne and pass through this 11 o into the round tail like this so this way we have added the loops and now we are going to step up into these two 11 o's and into the middle one that is the center middle center one third one and pick up 215 or champagne and pass through the middle 15 or sorry middle 11 or champagne of the next set like this now we will check the direction here so this is the back side and this is the front side of our necklace and bringing the two ends like this here I have brought the two ends and the clasp so the clasp was, uh, will go this way into the box so I have to attach it this way so I will just hold it like this and now pick up 4 15 or champagne here I have picked up 4 15 or champagne and right now I'm exiting through this 11 o and I will enter through the first hole of the box sorry clasp and then like this I am here you can see I am exiting to this side of the 11 o now I will pick up 4 15 o's 4 15 o champagne and enter through the opposite side of this same 11 o champagne like this so here this way we will be attaching our clasp now I will pick up 215 or champagne and pass through the middle 11 o of the next set like this pick up 4 15 or champagne and pass through the first the second hole of the clasp again pick up 4 15 or champagne and through the opposite side of the 11 o we are going to enter the same 11 o like this and now pick up 215 or champagne and pass through the middle 11 o of the next set like this again pick up 4 15 or champagne and pass through the third hole of the clasp like this again pick up 4 15 or champagne and pass through the same 11 o from the other side like this so here we have attached our clasp now again we are going to pick up 215 o champagne and pass through the middle 11 o of the last set like this 
so here we have attached the clasp and now we will come down through these 11 o's into the round tails move up through this 11 o and now we will be tying a knot here in between these 11 o's again moving up into the 11 o's again down into these 11 o's once again I will tie a knot in between the 11 o and the roundel and pass through the roundel the 11 o into the next 11 o like this into the two 11 o's into the round tail and now we can cut our thread off like this after exiting through this round tail, we can cut our thread off. And here we have completed the base of our neck belt with draw stitch. And now we are going to embellish this neck band. For embellishing the neck band, we are going to take the single thread on our needle. Here I have taken about 30 inches of thread and here I'll be using single thread for adding the embellishment on this neck bend as we have to take passes through these roundels and we have already taken so many passes so it will be become difficult to take double thread and pass through them so here as we will be adding the embellishment we are going to use only the single thread and here I'm using 30 inches of length of my thread and I'll be working with this thread on one side and for this we are going to start from this end we have to be very careful while choosing the side this is our front side so we will be adding the embellishment on this side now for adding the embellishment I will pass through this 11 o into these three 11 o's and bringing this tail here hold it and now I will tie a double knot here like this And then I will pass through the 215 O's that we added in between these 11 O's like this into the 11 O
so into this 11 ohm then into the 15 ohms again into the 11 ohm and the two 15 ohms into the 11 ohm and into the 15 ohms and into these 11 ohms like this down through these two 11 ohms into the next round tail and now up through this round tail now here we can cut the tail off and now I will pick up one 11 ohm champagne and pass through the next round tail like this and now I will pick up one eleven of fuchsia silver line and pass through the next round tail again pick up one eleven of fuchsia silver line and pass through the next round tail and now pick up one eleven of champagne and pass through the last round day of this row like this if you want you can only add 11 or champagne all the pose and here I would be adding these embellishment in this pattern now pass through this next round tail and into the next row passing through this round tail now again I'm picking up one 11 or champagne and pass through the next round tail like this pick up one 11 of fuchsia and pass through the next round tail again pick up one 11 of fuchsia and pass through the next round tail pick up one 11 of champagne and pass through the next round tail like this now moving towards the next row pass through the next round tail of this row component into this round tail like this again picking up one 11 of champagne and pass through the next round tail again picking up one 11 o champagne sorry now I have to pick up one 11 o fuchsia silver line and pass through the next round tail again pick up one 11 o fuchsia silver line and pass through the next round tail one 11 of champagne and pass through the next round tail so this way we are going to 
to add our embellishment and we are going to get this look throughout this row so I'll complete it till I reach this rondelle the last row of rondelle this one I'll complete till I reach here and come back so here I have completed adding these 11 O's to the part of this round, uh, raw components with rondelles and this is the final look and here after adding this last row I will be passing through this rondelle into the pearl and now here I am going to add these 11 o champagne like this again I will pick up 11 o champagne and add it to the next pearl again pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through the next pearl again pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through the next pearl so this way we are going to add all four 11 o champagne in between these pearls now into this 3 mm pearl again picking up one 11 o champagne and pass through the next 3 mm pearl so this way I am going to add these 11 o champagne in between these pearls. Now here I have completed my portion with these pearls and this is the look after adding these 11 o between the pearls and now I will move on to the rondelles. And in between the rondelles, we are again going to follow the same pattern with 11 o champagne. Eleven o fuchsia. Again, eleven o fuchsia and eleven o champagne. So this way we are going to follow the same pattern throughout these rows of raw component with rondelles and we will be adding 11 o champagne to these rows with pearls. Now here you can see that I have completed adding these 11 o's, 11 o champagne and 11 o fuchsia on this side of my neck bend and here I have reached this last row and this is this row is the one where we have joined these pearls with the 11 o's and this pendant and now after passing through this 3 mm pearl i would pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through this next 3 mm pearl like this again pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through the next 3 mm pearl again pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through the next 3 mm pearl and the last 11 o champagne and pass through the last 3 mm pearl like this so here we have completed this side and we have completed adding these 11 o's on this side of the neck bend and now we would be adding these 11 o's on the edge of this neck bend so for this 
after exiting through this 11 o uh, sorry this 3 mm pearl i will pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through the next 3 mm pearl like this pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through the next 3 mm pearl again pick up one eleven o champagne pass through the next 3 mm pearl pick up one eleven o champagne and pass through the next rondelle pick up 11 o champagne and pass through the round tail again pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through the next 11 o, uh, next round tail and this way we are going to add these 11 o champagne in between these round tails pearls and all through this row till we reach the end of this neck bit here so here i have completed adding these 11 o champagne throughout this row or throughout this edge and now i am exiting through this last rondelle and now i will pick up one 11 o champagne and here pass this round through this rondelle like this again pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through this rondelle again I will pick up one 11 o champagne and pass through this next rondelle in this last row we are not going to add these 11 o fuchsia we will be adding 11 o champagne all throughout like this again pick up one eleven o champagne and pass through this next round tail again picking up eleven o champagne and pass through the next round tail like this and now after exiting through this round tail I will again Pick up one eleven o champagne and pass through the next round tail. Shrink this up. So like this. Pick up one eleven o champagne and pass through the next round tail. And now we would be adding these eleven o champagne all through this row till the end here, till this last. Now here I have added these 11 o's throughout this edge also and now I would be adding my last 11 o champagne and pass through this pearl and into the 11 o. Now here we have completed our neck bend and now we are going to pass through these pearls and 11 o's throughout this row, this pearl and into the 11 o, into the pearl. to 
the pearl eleven oh into the pearl and eleven oh and now into the last pearl and after exiting through this pearl into these eleven o's now here I'm going to tie a knot in between these eleven o's like this up through these Two eleven o's came into the pearl into this pearl. And into the eleven o like this. Into these two eleven o's. Once again, tying a knot in between these eleven o's. Up through these two eleven o's. this this way and now we can cut a thread off and here we have completed our neck bend on one side and same way we are going to complete our neck band on the other side by first we are going to add these 11 o's in between here in between these rondelles and then we are going to add these 11 o's on the edge throughout this band so friends here i have completed the other side of the neck band also this is the look and this is our tarini necklace complete darini necklace and here while adding these 11 o's on the edge we have to be very careful please don't pull your thread too tight otherwise it will bend like this and it will not get the proper shape so very gently you have to add these 11 o's on the edge on both the sides of the neck bend and here and I didn't use uh, the fire line for these rondelles for this raw stitch with these rondelles and pearls because it will make this band very stiff and it won't fall uh, perfectly on your neck. We need to make it a little flexy so that it falls perfectly on our neck. That is why I used Muki thread and uh, we use the uh, double thread for making the band so that it doesn't get break up easily and one more thing it's better to proceed with the neck band in short in small parts and better to use small threads 
if you use too long thread or a very long thread and want to make this whole one side with single uh, with double thread in one go it won't be possible because passing through these rondelles again and again will bear up your thread and it will get weak during the process so it's better to take smaller threads i made this one side of the neck pen in two parts uh, in first i made this this much and then i added the another thread and then i proceeded further so it's better to make it in parts and i had already told you how to add the thread with these rondelles with these raw components and this way we are going to make the neck band on both the side of this pendant and this is our tarini necklace complete tarini necklace so friends these are our tarini necklace in two colorways in pink and this is in teal green color i hope you would love making these necklace and in my next video i'll be showing you how to make the matching earring for these tarini necklace that is our tarini earrings so if you like my video my designs and my tutorial please do subscribe to my channel and friends please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when i upload my next video thank you